Okay, this video was requested by a viewer who wanted to know how to build a static electricity sensor. So what I did, I, I modified my active Wheatstone bridge circuit where I had built an RF field strength meter and I made a video about that. And I'll link that video in the description box below. So my simple modification was to move my sensing antenna, which is just a piece of wire, I hooked it up directly to the gate of one of the JFETs in the Wheatstone bridge. Now that turns the circuit into a static electricity sensor. Now static electricity is just an unbalance of charge between two objects. Now all things are made up of atoms which contain protons, neutrons and electrons. Now insulators, like this measuring cup which I got in my kitchen, doesn't like to give off electrons. They're tightly bound to the insulator. But materials like wool will give off electrons readily. So if I rub this, this insulator, this cup, against my wool sleeve of my sweater, and now if I bring it up to my sensing antenna, you can see it's deflecting. It's pretty sensitive. Now you notice it detects movement of charge rather than the presence of the charge. That's because of the Coulomb electrostatic force that's built up on the measuring cup. So we'll have a look at the schematic of the circuit and see how it works. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my static electricity sensor that runs on 9 volts and it's basically an active Wheatstone bridge. Now you can see the Wheatstone bridge configuration. We have a 3.3 k ohm resistor in series with a JFET. I'm using a 2N3819 or NTE 312. Now a JFET is basically a voltage controlled resistor. So basically we have a voltage divider on the left and it's mirrored on the right with another voltage divider of our 3.3 k ohm resistor and the JFET. Now when we null this Wheatstone bridge by using this zero null pot, the voltage at this point will be the same voltage at this point. And since there's no voltage differential, we'll have no current flowing through the meter. And the meter will be zeroed and it'll be nulled. Now to activate this circuit, we bring a negatively charged object up to the sensing antenna, which will pinch off this transistor, this JFET, and the resistance between the drain and the source will increase, so now the current will be forced through the resistor and then through the meter through this transistor. So we'll get a deflection on the meter when we bring a negatively charged object up to the antenna. It will detect a static charge. Now the sensitivity of the circuit depends on this 20 mega ohm resistor from the gate to ground. It's a damping resistor. And if we leave this resistor in the circuit, we don't need this sensitivity pot. But if we take out this resistor from the gate to ground, we'll have a very sensitive circuit. We could pick up a negatively charged object up to seven feet away. Then, then we need, we'll need we need the sensitivity pot in series with this meter to keep the current down so we don't damage the meter. Okay, this is my 20 mega ohm damping resistor, which is connected from the gate of the transistor, the JFET, to ground. So this controls the sensitivity of my circuit. Now if I leave the 20 mega ohm resistor in the circuit, I do not need my sensitivity pot which is basically connected in series with the ammeter to control the current through the ammeter. But if I remove this damping resistor, the circuit will be very sensitive. We could pick up uh, a charge five feet away from my sensing antenna. Then we'll have to turn down the sensitivity by putting resistance in series with the ammeter. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll first of all, I'll set my meter to zero. Basically, we should have a center zero meter, which I don't have. So what I'll do, I'll put, I'll put my meter to zero in the center and I'll remove the resistor, my damping resistor. Now it will be very sensitive so if I charge up my my cup, my insulator, now I can bring it I'm about five, five I'll go back, I'm about six feet away I'm about six, about now I'm about seven feet away and it's picking it up about seven feet away from the antenna and the charge on my measuring cup is being picked up by my by my meter. Okay, so now you know how this little static electricity sensor works. And you can build your own and you can change out the components to make it work the way you want it to. So if you want to demonstrate to say students how static electricity works, you can build up the circuit for demonstration purposes.